In spring of 2008, we were challenged to engineer a bike for a 10-year-old boy with Tar syndrome, a disease that results in him having shortened arms as well as limited strength and range of motion in his legs. To account for these limitations, the steering, braking, and gear systems on the purchased trike needed to be modified. For the steering mechanism, we took advantage of the geometric properties of the four-bar linkage. The four-bar linkage translates forward and backward movement to rotation and allows the client to steer using his strong torso instead of his relatively weaker arms and hands. The four-bar linkage is made out of an aluminum alloy chosen for its strength and resistance to corrosion. It has been designed so that it rotates freely around the support rod while being fixed on the front bar. A flat bar has been used for the middle horizontal bar to minimize binding and the bulkiness of the steering device. The mountain bike handlebar extenders have been used for grips. They are positioned close to the client's body and make it easy for him to grip them between his second and middle fingers or push up against them with his chest to rotate the wheel. The ends of the long steering bars are adjustable so that they can be lengthened or shortened to fit the client's needs as he grows. In addition, the vertical support bar can be raised or lowered to suit the client's needs. The gear mechanism also required modification for optimal use by our client. The original design was inefficient because it did not allow for freewheeling, which allows the bike to move without the pedals rotating as in most modern bikes. Freewheeling allows the rider to coast and prohibits backward pedaling. The current system adopts the original rear sprocket and turns it into a hub which is then attached to the freewheel. The hub was custom made for the bike as no suitable part was available. A regular hub was taken from an old French bike. It was then sawn in half by hand and machined to precisely fit onto the original sprocket and attached using several small screws. During the process, we also increased the gear ratio of the trike, allowing it to go faster than the original ratio allowed. The bike chain was also shortened to accommodate these changes and allow proper functioning of the bike. The braking system on the tricycle was modified to account for our client's short arms and relatively weak hands, which would not allow him to operate a conventional handbrake. The new braking system was constructed as a pedal brake on the right side of the trike and attached via a clamp to the main frame of the trike. The pedal was positioned to accommodate the client's limited range of motion in his right knee joint. The brake cable was then rewired to the pedal so that pushing down on the front of the brake pedal engages the brakes. The brake pedal was also attached to a hinge so that releasing pressure on the pedal causes the brake cable to revert to its original position, thus disengaging the brakes. Use of a pedal braking system also has the advantage of allowing our client's right leg more physical activity as he pedals with a stronger left leg only. Thank you! Kevin Caves, give him an A!